brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall a front door panel. We'll show you the driver's side. This is a 2007 Audi A4 and similar procedure for the passenger side. Only tool you're going to need is a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a 10 millimeter wrench or socket and ratchet. Start out, open the driver's door and release the hood. Pull the lever here back and that pops the hood and then you want to disconnect your battery. Uh, now on our vehicle, uh, I believe a couple of panels are missing, um, but you just want to pull this weather strip back and you can pull the panels up and out. Um, I think there should be one over the battery, but there's not. And then you want to use, once you have uncovered the battery, 10 millimeter socket and ratchet or a 10 millimeter wrench. Loosen the negative or the black battery cable and pull it up and off and put it off to the side so it doesn't contact the terminal. Use a flat blade screwdriver and a rag or paper towel to protect the plastic and fabric. And there's a little oval panel underneath the door pull. You pry out the bottom and it comes out. And then you want to pry out this uh, bright strip. And you just pry the front out and pull firmly. And then pull the back towards the front of the car to remove it. Six screws hold the door panel on. There's two underneath the door pull. And then four gold screws at the top. And we'll just fast forward here as I remove those with a, a Phillips screwdriver. The two that are under the door pole may stay in there. Just make sure you collect them after the door panel's off. Then you can pull from the starting at the top, pull firmly, and you'll release the clips. Um, our panel comes off a little bit easily, probably because it's been off before. Um, so you may have to pull a little more than what I did there. But just pull around the edge. And then once you have the cl clips released, pull the door panel up and off. I try and gather those screws. Once you have the panel back, you're going to pull your cable out of the clip, and then there's a little hook that you release. Then there's a wire that goes into the speaker. It just has two tabs at the top. Squeeze them together and pull the harness up and out. And then there's a harness here that has a orange safety clip. Pry the safety clip a little bit first, then pull the connector and the clip down at the same time. Reinstallation of the panel is a reverse of the procedure. Take the large clip, make sure that that uh, um, safety clip is forward, put it up and in, and then push the clip up and in while you rotate that safety clip back. And make sure it clicks into place and locks. In, uh, Replug the speaker wire back in and make sure it clicks. Pull your panel up close and clip or put the hook back into the door handle and clip the cable in. And then you want to lift the panel up into place, push the um, top of the panel towards the window and make sure it goes into the ledge clip. And once you get it down, you basically want to kind of look in behind and feel in behind and make sure that the clips find their holes. You can see I do that here. I hit it once in the back, but it didn't really set. So I'm just trying to line it up correctly. You may have to move it just back and forth just a little bit or up and down, but once you get them in, then you can um, give, them, give them a few hits and they um, set into place. Four screws at the top, just fast forward as I put those in, and then using a flashlight, put the screw onto your screwdriver and guide it in. It might help to use a little bit of glue on the end of the screwdriver just to hold the um, screw onto the screwdriver while you start it in, and I'll fast forward as I do the other one. Put the trim panel back in place, slide the back in first, and then again look in behind, line up the clips, and then it goes right into place once you have it lined up correctly. The lower panel, you the larger clip goes at the bottom, and then you basically kind of put it into place, force it up into the panel, and then push the bottom in. And reconnect your battery. 
and then tighten up the 10 millimeter nut. And you want to get it till it's firm. You don't want to over tighten it. And then once that's all set, put any of the panels back in place and reset that weather strip to hold them down in the front. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.